So the first step of creating a new site and installing WordPress is to go ahead and log into WHM. And you'll want to go over here and scroll down to account functions, create a new account, plug in the domain, Username, match it to the client. And you only need to fill out this top half on the domain information. So make sure you document the username and the password. This will be uh, used for the FTP information and to ac access the control panel where you will set up the database for WordPress. So the site is all set up and we are ready to go. Once you've created an account, uh, you'll be able to access the control panel for that account where you need to set up the database for WordPress. So you'll remember I told you to document the FTP information and you'll use that same information to access the cPanel. So go ahead and log in. Scroll down here to SQL Databases. You'll want to add a database name. I always go and name the database WordPress. Create that. Go back. Create a user. Save the password that you use for this user. Oops, messed up. A okay, match. Save your password. And this step is important. You've created the database, you've created the user. You need to add the user to the database, select all privileges, and make changes. So the database and user are now all set up. Once you've created the site and created the database and user, the next step is to download WordPress. So go to wordpress.org and download the latest version. One moment here. So I'm going to go ahead and unzip WordPress. So go ahead and open up WordPress and save it to your desktop. So here we are, open up that file, go down to the WordPress config sample, rename it and take off the dash in the sample. So it's just wp-config, edit it, and then there's a few details you're going to edit. So right here, the database name. It's going to be the name of the site, underscore WordPress, username, site, underscore user, password, 
and then down here in this area. So you want to put in just random passwords down here. Uh, this is a security feature, so. Scramble that up real good. So there you have it. Edit those fields, the database, the username, the password, and then the salts down here. Go ahead and save that file. And everything on the WordPress front is ready to go. So you've created the site, you've created the database, and you've got WordPress downloaded and all set up ready to go. So the final step is to go ahead and connect via FTP. And this is going to be the host, and that's going to be your IP address of the server, the username, which you created when you created the site, and then the FTP password that you created when you created the site. So go ahead and connect. So over here is the server side. On this left side, this is your machine. And so basically what we're doing is we're taking the files of WordPress and we're putting them on the server, which is over here. So you'll want to open up the WordPress folder and then you want to go ahead and hit uh, Control and Shift and capture every single file in that folder. And then drag it, drop it right into this public underscore HTML folder. And let all the files upload. Once that's done, we'll be ready to create an admin account on WordPress, log in, and start building the site. So once all the files of your WordPress folder have been uploaded, if you go to the shortcut of the site, uh, and that is the IP address, forward slash, tilde, and then the name of the site, which I'm sure you figured out by now, um, it'll ask you to basically create a site admin account. So go ahead and put in the site title, create your password, Make sure you store this because this will be the admin account for WordPress. And finish your WordPress installation. So you can go ahead and log in with the password you just created. And you can see that your site is now ready to go. Now that WordPress is installed, the next thing that you'll probably want to do is install a theme. And that's rather simple. So for themes, you're going to want to dig into the public underscore HTML. Go ahead and click WP Content, Themes. And then any themes that you want to add, you want to just drop right into this themes folder. So once all the files uploaded, you'll be able to access this theme and activate it from the back end of WordPress.